everybody. Welcome to the show. We are going to try to do an hour today. Um, a couple people on. Hey, Ella. Hey, Frankie. Um, Genevieve, Patrick. <laughs> My goodness, Fawn. <laughs> and I know there are a number of people on here that I uh, that I have not checked in. And Sal. Hey, Sal, who have, who have not checked in and said hi and are... Um, watching. So, hey, Kate. Um, yes. So, okay. So everybody, I go live at noon every Monday and Wednesday for a minimum of 30 minutes. I try to do 60 if I can. And um, hey, Heather, I'm always on YouTube, but there's a call in number 845 two seven seven nine one three one and sometimes and I don't I'm I'm not in control of it but sometimes people have difficulty getting through with the call-in number and they they just I think the past couple of shows um not everybody has been able to get through with the call-in number I don't know why that is there should be like a lot of um there's a lot of availability in my switchboard, let me put it that way. So if you have tried to call in and you haven't been able to get through, please just try again. Um, and I apologize for that. And again, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have control over that, but I do the best I can uh, to make sure I get to the people who do call in. So please continue to call in and don't, um, don't get, uh, discouraged by not being able to get through. Hopefully whatever's going on, it will be uh, fixed soon. I think the company that hosts the switchboard is in New York or on the East Coast. So they might be having some kind of weather stuff there. I'm, I'm never really sure what's going on in that area. Okay, I want to say, hey, Stevie, how are you? I hope you had a really good weekend. Everybody, Stevie's my youngest brother with Down syndrome. And it just makes his whole week when I say hi to him. So, hey, Stevie. And uh, he loves, he th he's so funny. He says that if I say his name on the show, it makes him famous. So let's make Stevie famous. <laughs> um, he really, really wants to be on the show, but uh, that can't happen quite yet. And I, I'm going to go to the next thing, which is um, the show airs live on YouTube. And I take callers, as I said, it also is on W, it's uh, on WSA, WSCS Roku. Apple TV, a, a number of streaming channels, Rude Rangers TV, and almost every podcast and a number of radio stations. So you can listen to and or watch this show any place, any place. Absolutely. Many, many places. Let's say that. If you are uh, watching on social media, and you're enjoying it, please give me a like. And if you want to know when I'm coming on again, please give me a follow. If you do have a question and you're not able to get through on the, the number, please post it in the chat. I will try to get to that. And I'm really sorry again, if you're not able to get through on, um, on the call-in number. Okay, I'm going to go to callers now. And if you do have a, if I call your area code, please tell me your name. <laughs> oh my gosh, your name, where you're calling from, and then have a question, at least one area that we can start with. That kind of gives me permission to get into your energy. Um, so I at least like one specific area to start with. And it's always better if it's in the form of a question. Who, if you want me to connect with loved ones on the other side, then I just need their first name, their relationship to you, and um, any question or conversation you would have had, wanted to have with them. So when I say their first name and their relationship to you, 
that means like Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle, um, Janet, my friend, um, whatever that looks like to you. And then any conversations or what, what you want to know in regards to them. Okay. And oh, by the way, Terry, Terry posted a question in the um, comments in my last show. And I showed up at work and I had the most beautiful card from her. So Terry, I just love you, girl. You are, you're a real, real one. Thank you so much. And Terry's also a uh, um, somebody I would consider a friend too. So Terry, thank you for that. It was really kind of you to send that card. And I'm so, again, I'm so sorry for your loss of your aunt. And she's like, it's so funny, the terms that they use. Uh, she's like doing, uh, she's um, dancing a jig up in heaven. Okay. For today's show, in between callers, I think I'm going to give shout outs from loved ones because there's a number of loved ones here. There's somebody named Brian, somebody named Chris. There's a woman here with um, dirty blonde hair, thin. Um, I'm, and then I'm hearing the name Diane. That's not Diane. The woman with blonde hair isn't Diane. Diane has dark, dark. She's I, she has darker hair and um, complexion, <laughs> complexion. For those of you who are not seeing me, I was doing sign language, uh, like a, a motion, and I have to remember not everybody's watching me. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah. Patrick, it is because she has like her complexion, her complexion goes from olive to like a jaundice color. And yes, it is. It is. Um, okay. Yes, it is, Patrick. And she wants to say, so somebody, thank you, Patrick. I'm going to go to 417 first. So please hold on. Don't hang up if you are on the call log. Remember, we have a bit of time on the show today. <clears throat> to get to everybody. Patrick, the first thing that Diane wants to say to you is um, she's she's singing. I hear this song. As you guys know, um, music is a way I get messages. I'm sorry. Da, na, na. And I think when she says she's sorry, she's like, um, she feels like um, for the, um, not I think she's telling me, it's for the suffering she left. A lot of uh, she feels like she left you with a lot of unanswered questions. She feels like she left you with a lot of unanswered what ifs. And the biggest thing she's saying, oh, my gosh, I have the goosebumps. I love the goosebumps. Those are my confirmations. <laughs> she wants you to know it's OK to be OK and it's OK to move forward. And she's actually saying you can sprint. Like do that sprint, but, but be in a situation. There's this so song and I know these are not the words and I'm sorry, I'm going to, I'm giving what I'm getting. I'm giving what I'm getting. I'm giving what I'm getting. Okay. That is probably no song, no place. And the way I'm singing it, nor should it be. Uh, but she wants you to make sure you're just giving whatever it is you're getting. Um, that like and the balance of things <clears throat> don't um mm, yeah don't don't let what you don't let your past dictate your future and what this means is if you think in the past oh my god i'll tell you why i said that in a second if you think in the past that like with someone you didn't do enough or you should have done more or you maybe um, made a mistake, what you consider to be a mistake in that relationship or you didn't try, whatever it is. And then that person passed. Sometimes we we think, <clears throat> okay, somebody is here with a froggy, froggy throat. Now jump out. <laughs> we got you. We know. <clears throat> Stop this. Um, uh, 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 wh what happens is when we move forward, then we overcompensate to try to make up for what happened in the past. 
it doesn't work that way. That's not how it balances. And <clears throat> I didn't say double down. I said jump out. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so sorry about my throat right now. So there's obviously a loved one. I don't know if this was Diane, but there's also, also a loved one coming through <clears throat> that in the end, they couldn't talk. In the end, their throat might have been like this. And they're saying, you know who I am. You know who I am. <clears throat> so for whatever reason, whether they were inc incubated, inc incubated, whether they're, whatever that is, that word is, uh, sometimes I have, to, it, it, this person just hijacked P Diane's and Patrick's reading, whoever this is. So that would have been their personality in life if this is not Diane. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to go back to, to Patrick and Diane. Okay, uh, Patrick, um, don't overcompensate in your situations today to try to, to whatever for anything that Everything happened exactly as it was supposed to, is the way I'm going to say that. Everything happened exactly as it was supposed to. And so grateful. She's so grateful for everything. Oh, my goodness. And she's showing me she's around all these flowers that are huge. They're like, I'm sorry for those of you, they're like a foot big. The flower head is like a foot big, and they're white. And um, they look like huge white um I'm hearing the word poppy. I don't add poppies. Hey, poppy. What's up, poppy? Uh, not that kind of poppy. Um, huge white um, things. And to the person putting this, you, hey, um, Patrick, can you do me a favor? This person, Sex Find Pro, can you help me um, and report and... Um, Get rid of this person report uh, to, to the people on YouTube. Whenever that kind of stuff comes up, can you please report it and get it off of here quickly for me while I'm while I'm um, uh, reading? Otherwise, it's going to take a minute for me to do it for each and every one. So whoever can do that for me, do it. Report these people. And hey, Whoever that is, at least give me a like, Jack-o'-lantern, you big dodo bird. Jeez Louise. And whoever you are, you don't go to a psychic's channel and start doing that because you don't know if they're into magic, biatch. I'm just saying, I'm not, of course. <laughs> but somebody else might curse your butt for something like this. <laughs> okay, let's get them out of here. Um, and let's get that. Let's get going. So, Patrick, thank you. The person with the throat obviously stepped out a little bit. And Patrick, she, she really wants you to know um, how grateful she is for everything, everything that you did. The person with the throat thing is saying that, um, you know, who the for the person this is, you must be listening. You know who you are and that they love you. And they're sorry they didn't say more like affectionate and loving things to you. Okay, thank you so much for um, for for coming through. Okay, I'm gonna go to the first caller, and then I'm gonna take some more like uh, loved ones that come through. Let's rock this show, everybody. Let's rock it, rock it, rock it. Here we go. Four one seven. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, this is uh, Linda from uh, North Carolina. Hey, Linda, how can I help you? Uh, uh, we have uh, talked before regarding um, my son and daughter, my son, daughter-in-law, and grandchild. I don't yes. know seeing how things were, you picked up anything else that you figured out <laughs> that you can see. Okay, so um, oh. from the last time we talked, I did get I did get uh, them to do a will and a 
power, power of, attorney. of attorney. Okay, what I'm hearing is, um, and I'm so sorry for this, and I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm sorry, but I don't know what I'm this sorry. means. The end is, I'm hearing that thing, Frank Sinatra song that I heard last week. Oh, I don't want to cry on air. I don't want to cry on air. Don't do this. Oh, my God. Um, the Frank Sinatra song I heard last week was, I did it my way. And so the, uh -huh. the statement I'm hearing now and and now the end, and so the end is near or something like that. So what I'm getting is this phase, whatever this phase is, now the end is near, mm -hmm. could mean a couple of different things, but I think you know your situation best and you know what this means. And I hear, mm -hmm. and my final curtain, and I have the goosebumps again. Um, I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you, just be prepared for whatever comes next. No, I'm not going to say that this is going to happen today or tomorrow. I'm not going to say it's going to happen. Right. It could be within a, a, a month. It could be within a week. Just make sure everything that needs to be in place is in place already. And make sure that there yeah. is some. Yeah, I think that 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 you're you're, you're yeah. Um You're doing an amazing, an amazing job. Um, so they're changing the message just a little bit for you. They want you to know you're doing an amazing job. There's nothing else you can do. Um, make sure okay. that you are staying true to your values through this whole process, whatever that means for you, and that you are... Um, able to look at everything very logically and again mm -hmm. whatever that means for your situation okay sweetie or is this mainly pertaining to my son or my daughter-in-law i hear both i hear both okay. now okay now here's what i'm <laughs> gonna that. what i'm gonna say is um I don't know your situation, or if you did ever tell me your situation, I don't remember it. One thing I'm hearing, mm -hmm. and I'll explain this after I make the statement, I hear drugs and or alcohol. Now, drugs can be pharmaceutical medications that people are taking that, that they're right. supposed to be. I remember saying that before. And, or they can be something that, they can be something that somebody is supposed to be taking. Sometimes people right, exactly. are exactly. undiagnosed or they've been diagnosed, but they don't want to take meds they should be taking. Um, and mm -hmm. Or that could mean they're abusing them. I don't know which, which the case is. Um, yeah. The point is when I hear this, when I hear it, it can mm -hmm. mean any of those things. And maybe they don't do it now, but they did it at one point and that could be it or after everything is said and done we have to be careful that it doesn't go in that direction for whatever reason and especially mm -hmm. if this is the second time i'm saying or they're saying this to you for for whatever it's worth they're saying drugs and or alcohol which means this is something that is about in some way relates to this so please um, whatever that means for this situation. And maybe it means that soon your son might need, uh, and drugs to me, it doesn't like if somebody wants to put you on an antidepressant, I would really recommend you look at alternative modes like, um, acupuncture or, you know, high doses of vitamin D and some other supplements because in, in studies have recently shown that antidepressants really aren't doing what they thought they did. And so there's that too. Uh -huh. But let's just say some certain things happen and there's a bout of um, depression or anxiety or whatever it is. I'll look for natural methods before... Uh -huh anything else. I'm not a doctor. I'm not allowed to say this on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. 
disclaimer, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. So please, <laughs> right? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Uh, you can tell people to take Adderall, which is basically, basically meth, but you can't tell them to take vitamin D oh, for the sake of love. <laughs> God, oh, this world is so upside down. Anyway, um, what I would also say is don't have any, um, what I'm hearing and for what it's worth for your situation, don't, don't have any, and I don't know where you would or why you would, but we do. Don't have any regrets because nobody else is going to. And be uh, okay. be mama bear. Fight hard. You're going to need to fight hard for something. Okay? Um, and that's, again, in mm -hmm. about a month to a month and a half, you're going to need to fight hard. Do not concede. And do not give up that mm -hmm. fight. Okay? You're going to have all the... For lack of a better term, you're okay. going to have all the rights, but I feel like uh, th there might something might come in that will be uh, co like contesting the rights that you've been given. Okay. Okay, you're talking about my granddaughter referring. Is that what you're thinking of? It could be, it could be something else because I'm not looking at the whole situation. I'm okay. actually, I, I'm going to be really honest with you i'm not looking at your situation i'm just getting the messages and giving them to you because i feel like um okay. that is for your personal situation that's probably the best thing that i could do what i will tell you okay. is these when the time comes whether it's a month or six months or whatever it is um you will know and you'll go oh this is exactly what they were talking about this is exactly yeah. what they meant okay. this is where i'm supposed to like let's say your your daughter-in-law has a a request of she uh like my brother and i uh, not stevie a different brother and I, we, we have a joke okay. like, uh, listen, somebody had to feed me and change my diapers once. It's not, I'm not going out like that. Uh -uh. So we, we have agreed, like if either one of us end up in that situation, we're going to help each other take care of it and not live like that, whatever. Um, and it is what okay. it is. Um, so if I yeah. have that and somebody else is fighting against it, I would want my brother to fight for me and with me about that. You right. know, so it okay. could be something gotcha. like that. It could be any number of things. But the biggest thing that I'm getting is that you have you have the right. You'll have the right on your side, whatever the decisions, whatever somebody's going to contest. Okay. You'll have the, the documentation and the rights and you, no matter how difficult it is, you have to, you have to, fi you have to fight for it. You're going to be the one that's going to fight for it. Okay, beautiful. Yes, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you very much for taking your, taking the time out to talk to me and I'll, I'll keep you updated as I kind of see things happen. But I wanted to let you know, I did get the, the power of attorney and a will made for them, so. I'm so that way happy. The, the it's granddaughter that, comes to me, you know. Yeah, I. You know what? I'm so happy that you did that. I'm going to tell you that's going to save so much at a time. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Here's what yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah, we both know what I'm about to say. You know. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, having some of this stuff done. I understand. Yeah. Good. Okay. And for anybody else listening, like this is those sorts of things. You don't want to do them at a moment when you're having to be very emotional and take care of other things too. So the more of this stuff you can pre do the better. So I'm really happy that you did this now because it is going to help you in the long run. Okay, love. Yeah, I appreciate it. You have yourself a good week. 
Thank you so much. Sorry, and thank, you, thank you for calling in. You and um, we okay. will be definitely right. saying prayers for your situation, love, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You, you have a good day. You too. Thank you. Uh, if you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Uh, please let me know if you are getting through on the call in line. I'm going to go to 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, hey, Tony, it's Pat from Connecticut. Hey, Pat, how are you today? I am struggling with depression and um, I just don't know why it's there. It seems to be getting worse for no reason. Um, I'm wondering if... Uh, this hypnotist is going to be able to help me, um, one, with eating, gaining weight, too, which is odd. Um, I started gelatin because I was told that would assimilate. I'm going all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, that would assimilate and help me to lose weight. Um, lots of stuff. I don't know why. Um... I'm so depressed. Okay. So, okay. The first question for first, I am so sorry for what you're going through. Um, the first, the first question, will the hypnotist be able to help you somewhat? I do believe in hypnosis. I do hypnosis. Um, suggestions are good. You Make sure you're um, getting to a hypnotist, if you're doing hypnosis, who can also alleviate the why to the problem. One of the things I do with hypnosis with every single client and <clears throat> also with uh, the clearing work I do is it's it's good to get suggestions, but we don't want to put a Band-Aid over something that actually needs a fix. So we want to heal and we want to release what started this and what has kept it here. And that's really important. Um, when I'm done, as soon as I'm done with the show today, I'm going to go on TikTok and I'm going to do a, <clears throat> I may already have one on there. I'm not really sure, but I'll do, you know, a clearing for depression and also what started it and what has kept it. But we'll do that right now. Um, all depression has been healed and cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that. All that uh, started this has healed. I get a no. All, um, all that is kept it here has healed. No. Okay. Heal and clear all of this. Now, sometimes you may need to come back. This is about the 28 minute mark of the show for anybody who wants to come back and work with that. I love you all so stinking much. <laughs> I love, 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 love you. Please have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And I will see you for sure on Wednesday. I know I always say this. I'm going to try to pull off a show in between now and Wednesday too if, I, if my schedule allows it. Okay. Thank you all again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.